The whales are dying now. Hurling themselves up the beaches. Black dice reckoned under the sun's watchful gaze. There's sweat on the preacher's brow as he talks of damnation. And the whales are in love with no one. They wanted to die without any explanation. He mops his brow and quotes Malcolm Muggeridge on quote, the collapse of Western civilization, unquote. And the book he waves in the air is as black as whale skin. He urges people to make their decision. Now the whales have made their decision. An awful silence surrounds them. Like a ruined castle they lie, still, passive, beyond explanations. Beads of sweat on the preacher's brow, like small clear animals clinging to a rock face, or tiny transparent whales who flung themselves from the boiling sea of his eyes into a slow, certain dying. The sad music in their brains, a piper's lament from that old castle in the mist-thickened night. Shouts the preacher. His voice is a door slamming shut. The sea's noise is a vast intake of breath. A gesture in a room to break the silence. Now the whales have broken the silence. They are the color of the preacher's harsh words. The white foam rushes to embrace them like mother and father. The whales do not want to know. And now there are people sprawled on the beaches, chained together by the human imagination. All the music has bled out of them, drained from the ends of their fingers, splashed from the loud speakers of their wallets. And at the end of the service, people walk forward. Perhaps it is the collapse of Western civilization that moves them, or the sad music of their slow, certain dying that guides their feet. And at the end of this poem, a strange light comes off the bodies of the whales, gathering up the shadows like driftwood and splashing them against the far wall. You would think the shadows would make the words scrawled there hard to read. However, I find it's at a time like this, I see the writing the clearest of all.